morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you're watching us from. Um, I want to get this up on camera. I've uh, been pretty busy here. John and I have been running around uh, pretty strong here with folks visiting. Anyway, I'm back here at uh, Boca Beach in La Entrada, and uh, many of our present, past, and future participants uh, already know about this little beach. Well, not so little. But uh, this is a typical day here, okay? Uh, I'm here around 11 o'clock-ish, so it's a typical day. So when you come during the weekdays, when I tell you one of eight beaches, uh, they're all near empty and you have the place to yourself, which is incredible. But that's not the reason for this film. Uh, what I wanted to do was, I was here, I think, it was with uh, two really great folks, uh, Cassandra and uh, her husband, uh, Christian. And uh, we were here and just showing them around, and uh, they really seemed to like the place a lot. But I'm over here by Broken Bridge and what have you. I'm over here by Broken Bridge, yeah. and uh, I... Uh, was caught by surprise here because I'm going to stop for a second on Broken Bridge and I'm by where the fresh water meets the salt water at Boca and a uh, popular place for many of the people we've uh, met with. Okay, but from right after Broken Bridge, which is going to be repaired finally, I knew it would, but for about a year and a half I've been kind of leading on to the folks that come out here on a tour excursion or folks that are looking for opportunities or signs of growth and besides all the building around Cabrera and uh, what's going on the projects and uh, they're very well me uh, may be another nice uh, interesting announcement over the next couple of months from John and myself but in any event um, I've been saying that there's just too much money at stake here and that this properties that I'm driving by now I'm between uh, La Boca Beach and uh, Sunshine Beach. And I was telling people forever, at least a year and a half, about how when the signs Manos de la Obra, hands working together here, that the Board of Tourism's already been involved, the money's funded, uh, this is going to be progressing. So many of you remember this little place driving through on a little sand dirt road here. I um, uh, was caught by surprise when I was with uh, Christian and Cassandra because the week before I was out with some other folks and it was all still dirt. So over the last couple of weeks uh, this is what's progressed here as I kept telling people it would and uh, our region um, if take a look spend some time on some of the prior YouTubes and you're gonna see our region has got a very steady sustain, uh, sustainable type growth pattern it's not a Bitcoin investment but usually uh, what starts off as a bonfire quite often doesn't have enough wood for a long fire so um, I guess let your eyes do the thinking for you and then follow it up because there's no question about the development, uh, some future projects and plans I know about, John knows about. There's no question about the growth is continuing in this region and I, I just wanted to uh, drive by here and give you guys a, a nice little look-see because it, it, it's... Uh, it's quite astounding actually and I'm really glad for all the people that we've helped relocate here and maybe all the ones in the future. Uh, just to catch you guys up, uh, finally sometime, I won't say when, but sometime in June Leanne and I are finally taking uh, a week away or near a week and going back uh, home to Canada. For me it's going to be interesting. Uh, aside from one trip to Timmins, it's been years since I've been back there many years <laughs> so it'll be interesting I'm really gonna have to pay attention to my driving because as you can see I'm even driving on the wrong side of the road now to give you guys a better picture and um, so my gosh we just spent a bunch of time with uh, two great folks uh, Cassandra and Christian uh, we'll be meeting some other folks uh, for a day or two Dallas and his wife Chris and 
my goodness uh, then we have uh, Avo and his wife coming up uh, for uh, several weeks and uh, I think even one before and that's all before I'm going away when we come back Johnny tells me there's already two more sets of folks that want to come and visit us so it's really nice to see how steady things are progressing along um, we've been so busy besides with the folks keeping the YouTube channel going of course uh, thank you guys for everything we'll we'll be at a thousand subscribers real soon and uh, for a little town like Cabrera that covers basically Cabrera Rio San Juan does throw in the entire country but more as a visual and information type basis than really concentrating on it uh, that's liable to change in the near future too but I can't say anything about that but in another particular area very much like Cabrera was uh, only eight ten years ago and I'm not saying that Cabrera is overgrown it hasn't even really begun in my opinion it's just starting to take off now but uh, I've been involved with a lot of the paving uh, with Agapito and uh, it was a little over 54 kilometers of paving we did in the mountains and they sent me out there to make sure the Caliche, the pack rock dump trucks were uh, doing it every, you know, let's say 50, 50 feet or something like that. Because uh, you could tell these workers to do that. You know, hey, it's the same everywhere. I don't care if it's the Caribbean or not. And uh, sure, the first two loads of uh, uh, Caliche will be at 50 feet, but the next one's at 85, and the one after that's at 32, and so on. And when you're doing over 50 kilometers, it's got to be even, or you're doubling your project time because of what the machines need to do to level it out if it's not dumped at an even interval. Anyway, so that's what's been keeping us busy. We're looking forward to seeing all you guys. The progress is going on, very sustainable rate. The weather's getting warm, getting a little bit more humid. This is a picture perfect day. The sun, I mean, the wind's barely even moving anything, just enough to keep it cool. And uh, we're back on where they had paved about two and a half years ago. So I really wanted to bring this to all of our valued subscribers uh, about the fact that my gosh uh, things are progressing and uh, now more and more and, and remember I did say all the uh, properties to the right are either being seriously looked at or already scoffed up by some major entities uh, hotel chains uh, all-inclusive chains because it's ideal property for that uh, which is why the reason why I live in Cabrera when I got eight beaches like that within five eight minutes away see this eventually is going to be all tourism which is fine it drives the economy but I don't want to live in it I don't mind being 20 minutes away but I don't want to be in it and that's it for now hope this is all making sense hope you guys appreciate us keeping you in the goings on around the wonderful little area that we live in and I'm hoping we'll see a bunch more of you soon. And when I come back, I'm hoping to be breaking ground on my last little house with my wife. And we'll keep you posted on that. Maybe even walk you through the whole project from stem to stern. Okay, so until next time, it's old Barry and DR. Looking forward to seeing y'all. We'll talk soon. Bye. <laughs>